First eight track tape was Neil Diamond's 12 Greatest Hits, and I liked it a lot. It was one of my favorite eight tracks at the time. And then a couple years later, my friend who lived across the street from me used to uh, play Kiss, Van Halen, ACDC, Rush, Boston, Led Zeppelin, and uh, and I started getting into that. And then I remember thinking because my friend told me that Neil Diamond was not rock and roll, that maybe Neil Diamond wasn't cool. Hello! But I'd forgotten because you didn't really hear anything after 1984, around there, after Heartlight, you didn't really hear Neil on the radio anymore. And again, after Heartlight, he was kind of considered uncool. I wasn't hearing a lot of praise for Neil Diamond at the time, 1989. So, great music, not a lot of praise. More praise was deserved, and that's why we're on our 22 plus years of playing. But we've been able to do everything from nightclubs to concert on the greens, corporate events, theater shows, um, everything. It's, we've just been really lucky to do every kind of show you can think of. We're mainly a weekend band. We're mainly a Friday and Saturday night kind of band, you know. It's always a party, you know, no matter what kind of show it is. It's always a party. And um, so Friday and Saturday nights are the best nights for that. You know, it's really great seeing Neil Diamond songs. I love it. Even after you know, 27 years for me, um, Every night I love seeing Neil Diamond, so I mean, it's never gets old. <laughs> music on Neil Diamond and there's inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame um, you know hit producers uh, Rick Rubin producing Neil's albums and Don was on the recent one and so I think he's hip and cool now it's kind of things have changed for the better for Neil one last thing, whatever you do, don't ever let anyone ever tell you that Neil Diamond doesn't rock. Alright everybody, clap your hands! 